Yo, what's going on world? You already know who it is. It's your boy Sean Benny 618 Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel before we get started with this video. Do that right now. Alright, look. I posted a stat the other day. Uh, basically asking, what's going on with the 618 music scene uh, in 2021? I haven't seen a lot of people dropping any new music, any new music videos, vlogs, whatever. I haven't seen anything. So that was my question. I was just wondering, you know, what's going on with the music scene in the 618? Let's get into that. Alright, so before we get started, let's just go ahead and start off and let you guys know who I am if this is your first time watching this video. I go by the name of Sean Bennett 618 um, I'm an artist from Carbondale, Illinois, but I currently live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Been out here for about three years. Going strong with the music thing, man. Honestly, I felt like I had a, 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 a fantastic 2020 with the music. I dropped You Can't Die Twice. Uh, singles like no vaccine life's a bitch etc you know we can go on for days um but i felt like 2020 was my run i had a great run in 2020 um met a lot of new people new connections um did a lot of things and if you haven't heard the album yet go ahead and stream it it's all it's everywhere um but now i'm gonna go ahead and get into my situation on why i haven't been able to drop much music in 2021 then i'm gonna ask you guys you know what's going on with the other artists that's in my area where I'm from, you know, because that's my home city. I love my home city, um, and I just want everybody to be able to be successful. And I just been wondering what's been going on with everybody. So, um, my situation goes like this: I really haven't been able to drop music uh, because I put myself in a situation to where I'm locked in for what was it? Six, eight months. I was locked in for eight months. Uh, signed a contract uh, with Ethica Music. A uh, few years, few months back, um, and basically, you know, I felt like at the moment they was telling me everything I wanted to hear, uh, the the moves, the motivation, everything, but nothing happened. After you know the first meeting, we signed, made it happen, and nothing happened. Uh, so that being said, I'm still in contract with them, and I won't be out of contract until November. So. That's my reason why I haven't been able to drop music this year. So I took that time to uh, focus on building my YouTube channel, focus on working out, eating better, uh, just doing daily shit to make me a better person. So when my time does come and I'm able to release music, I'll be ready, getting my rollout together, everything, you know. So that's been my situation with things. Uh, I I was I did drop a song in June, a uh, very discreet song, uh, but that was it. That's all you guys heard from me in 2021. Um, and that's fucked up because I drop every year. I drop every year. And, you know, I wasn't able to do that this year the way I wanted to. Especially coming off a great year like last year. Um, now, when it comes to the 618 scene, um, I've noticed that nobody's dropped anything as well. And it makes me question, is people not dropping because I'm not dropping? I mean, I'm not, I'm not that goddamn, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm that big guy and people only do what I do. I'm not saying that. I'm asking because... It looks like that, you know, and it's nothing wrong with that. I feel like a lot of people from my area use me as inspiration, fuel, competition, whatever you had to use me for, and uh, did they thing with it, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm a very competitive person, uh, so I can understand why people was wanting to compete with me on the music scene. I get it, you know, but I've been gone for three years. Um, I honestly, I seen somebody in the comments say, Nobody's dropped since I've moved. Shit declined since I've moved. And I'm not saying that's the case. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying my thing is, what's going on? Is people getting lazy or are they not feeling inspired anymore? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the area. Uh, I'm not sure. I know a lot of violence has been rising up in Carbondale, Illinois. Uh, people really just running out of shit to do. Uh, so I'm not sure. Um, I really want to do something to help motivate a lot of the six way artists to start putting back that work that effort because 
you guys don't even understand y'all was fueling me to do what i wanted to do you know what i'm saying i was i was catching fuel off other people you know and when they stopped i stopped kind of you feel me um but let's do something man let's do something for the community uh i did host a event in 2018 and i want to do it again um i haven't seen anybody come across doing events for the community in carbondale nothing like that uh, since then so i kind of want to get back into that i'm looking forward to it i know it's about to get cold again so i'm trying to you know be able to look up new things we can do uh in the at the crib but yeah it's just i'm ready to just get back into it um november i'll be fully back going i haven't really came up with no dates so when i'll be releasing any new music but just know november i'm coming i'm coming for mine i'm rolling into the new year with um with great high hopes and expectations uh, to create a beautiful project and a beautiful rollout with it. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I would love for my 618 people to get back on they shit. Start dropping music, man. Y'all motherfuckers was dropping hot shit. And you gotta think too, honestly, uh, people that came up in Carbondale rapping when I was rapping, you know. It's been a long run. It's been a long run. I've been rapping since 2010. Uh, 2012 was when I feel like the ball really started rolling for me and uh, we've been going strong since then I mean we might not be in the position we want to be in but you guys we made a lot of progress over the years uh, so sometimes you got to look back and reflect on that and see how far you came you know but this is just a challenge this is a challenge for many 618 artists as I know uh, distance and he been doing battle rap and he dropped a video recently i peeped uh but this is a challenge like i said this is a challenge i'm challenging all the six way artists from distance rilla uh t white uh cabo bridge lane crazy b uh d dope woosie swerve shit i can go on for days um Everybody, BMF Mitch. I know I'm missing some names. I know I'm missing some names, but it's cool. I'm, this is a challenge to y'all. I want to challenge you guys to end the year off strong on the music tip. Let's let's do it. Let's help each other. Let's get to the next path, and let's come into 2022 back like we left in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that run back going. Let's get our people back going. Let's come up. Let's come together and come up with some community events for next year. Let's just get prepared for a full-blown takeover, right? And I feel like a lot of people seen my stat and took it like a diss. It wasn't that. Like, I literally was seriously, curiously sitting there like, what? What is everybody else's reason on why they ain't drop music? Because I know mine's. Um, so, like I said, this is a challenge to the 618 artists out there in the world. I want to see you guys be great just as well as you guys probably want to see me be great. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, bro, let's do it, man. What, what we waiting on? You know? What we waiting on? And let's start taking that sound outside of Carbondale, bro. I got I got more fans outside of Carbondale than I do in Carbondale. You know what I'm saying? So let's just take that over, man. But look, that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I challenge you guys for the, to, to, to drop some new music this year. That's it. I, now, look. Uh, before we end this video, I want you guys to subscribe to my channel, man. Make sure you tap the notification bell. I got more videos dropping this year. Hell, a lot of videos dropping this year. So make sure you guys tap in, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Shout out to the 618. I love you guys. Make sure you guys tune in to the 618.